गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट रोल ऑफ म्यूटेशन इन एवोल्यूशन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो वी नो दैट म्यूटेशन रिजल्ट्स इन वेरिएशन एंड वेरिएशन इज द मेन ड्राइविंग फोर्स ऑफ नेचुरल सिलेक्शन व्हिच रिजल्ट्स इन एवोल्यूशन random mutations can lead to new traits which make an organism better adapted to its environment mutation is important and mutation is the first step of evolution because it creates a new dna sequence for a particular gene creating a new allele okay so here we will see an example industrial melanism in papered moth the papered moths are widespread in britain in 1850s that is before industrialization it was observed that there were more white winged moths on trees these patterning made them well camouflaged against lichen covered tree trunks when they rested on them during the day there was also a naturally occurring genetic mutation which caused some moths to have almost black wings these black moths were not as well camouflaged on the lichen as white forms so they were more likely to be eaten by predators okay so you can understand the concept from this picture before industrialization environment was less polluted hence lichens grew all over the tree trunks okay now lichens give white appearance just like this now white moths could hide in this since they were less prominent against the whiter background due to this advantage white moths were escaped from the predator's eyes but you can see here black moths were very much prominent against this whiter background it was very easy for the predator birds to pick them up this means that fewer black forms survived to breed so they were less common than the whiter forms okay however after industrialization that is in 1920 there were more dark winged moths in the same area that is the proportion was reversed why this happened during post industrialization period the tree trunks became dark due to industrial smoke and lichens don't grow in the polluted areas hence tree trunks became dark just like this and this time white winged moths did not survive due to predators and dark winged moths survived this time the event got reversed white moths were more prominent than dark in the dark background hence it was easy for the predator birds to pick the white moths so from this experiment we can conclude that mutation resulted in the variation and due to the dark color dark wing moths were better adapted to the environment hence they were naturally selected and natural selection leads to evolution therefore dark winged moths were more in number in the population after the event so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my video